Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to take you around Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia and try to show you how much things cost. But before we start, before we head out into the streets of Kuala Lumpur, let me just quickly take you on a quick tour of our hotel room to show you what it's like and how much the hotel room actually costs. The best part first, the view that we get. This hotel is called Mercure Hotel and this is the amazing view that you get from the 15th floor. Then down here we've got a table, we've got a really nice sofa area here to chill out near the window and a bedside table and this is the bed, some nice artwork there. And then we also have a desk area here which is really nice and then here you have a TV, a really nice big TV. You've got an iron, an ironing board that comes part of the room and this is the entire room here. So this hotel room that I've just shown you costed 186 Malaysian ringgit per night. So that's around 35 pounds a night. So it's not a bad price for what you get. It's a four-star hotel. It also has a rooftop pool. And yeah, it uh, serves our needs very close by. We're in the Bukit Bintang area, but there are plenty of hotels in Malaysia for a lot cheaper than this um, and a lot more expensive. So let's not delay this. Let's get out onto the streets of Kuala Lumpur. So, we're going to take a taxi to a place called Jamik Masjid for breakfast and there are two apps that you can use called Grab and Easy. I don't know if you can see that. So, we're going to go with Grab as we found that to be the most reliable one. And all you need to do is basically go back and select car here. You should say car, just there. And then all you do is you, like Uber, you put in where you'd like to go, which is the you put your current location, you change that to Mercure and then you put where we're going Look. Jamic LRT LRT is basically the monorail kind of service they have here and then you click on confirm pickup then I want to pay by card and you just put there are different options here as well which you can book for cheaper and more expensive more comfortable rides let's just go with the standard and you just click on book just grab and then it looks for a ride for you and it takes the amount on hold from your account so you can cut three pound 36 for that ride so three pound 36 for a kind of like a 10 minute ride a three pound 36 for a 10 minute ride is not too bad um but um it's not too cheap either so yeah so the taxi driver is coming he's on his way he's four minutes away yeah, yes, Masjid Jamik. So I don't know if you can see me right now, but yeah, this taxi journey is about three pounds, three pound thirty-six. Uh, it's going to be around a thirty-minute ride, thirteen one three. Uh, not too bad, three pounds uh, for this ride, especially using a uh, 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 actual rideshare taxi service. We'll try the local taxis later. It's extremely busy inside and uh, don't judge this place by the way it looks. The food is amazing. This, this one's fish curry. This curry is this one done. Ah, so that's fish curry and that one that one is dal over there. And this is roti kanai. Uh, how much is roti kanai with it? One ringgit thirty cents. One ringgit thirty with the dal. Ah yes. Ah okay okay. Can I have one one with fish and one with dal? Yeah. Yeah thank you. One one ah one one plate two plate ah. No 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 uh, one fish curry yeah. one dal. One dal okay. Ah, okay. Netta red wa kasi roti chana dal sato kwa ikan sato kasi. This guy making roti knai, it's amazing. Look at that. Check this out. That's egg right there. Folded. Put it away. And it's Kaviko. And the end result. 
right, so we finally got our food. Here is the roti and the dal, roti palai, and this one is the roti with the fish curry. Amazing. This cost one ringgit and thirty, which is like twenty-five pence, I think. And Tay Tarik there as well, which is around the same, one ringgit or two ringgit, about twenty or thirty pence. Let's dig in. Alright, so we are back out on the streets of Kuala Lumpur after that amazing breakfast, fueled for the day and ah dead end yeah so we'll find our way so we're fueled up for the day and i just wanted to let you guys know that that breakfast actually costed us around seven ringgits which is around one pound 40 in total so about two dollars maybe i think so that is amazing value for breakfast and um, that's for two people so two roti canais two teas and the sauce thing sauce things that comes with the actual rotis so yeah i think it's all together called roti canai so one pound 40 seven ringgits amazing value so it's so you have these shirts which is like 80 80 ringgits so that's around 16 pounds was pretty much around 16 pounds as well check out these kind of like malaysian shirts that they have here really nice and this one costs these are all all the shirts here cost 20 ringgits which is around four pounds so not bad all these shirts here some of them have got colors some of them haven't so you see this one here nice colors and this is traditionally what the malaysian men wear i think and you've got the kids one here for 20 ringgits as well so these here the better quality ones maybe the slim fit ones are 55 ringgits which is around i think 10 11 pounds amazing we are outside the tram station or monorail station called masjid jamit it has its own kind of tram station and we're heading down this road here towards central market it's called petaling something as well so we're heading down there we're gonna go down this way you might take a a detour around here actually you should just check out this street oh look at these burgers here fresh burgers being made then you have KK, I think this is one of the grocery shops here. And a 7-Eleven just over there as well. Let's go inside and check out the prices of these, some of these drinks and stuff in here. All right, I just got my mask on before I head inside 7-Eleven to check out the prices, some of the things that they have. Hello. Some noodles here for 7 90 which is uh, around £1.30 Malaysian version of Pringles 6 ringgits about £1.20 and then you have things like let's have a look at some of the drinks here so we've got like 7 up which is 3 ringgits which is like 60-70 pence Fanta which is 2 70 is like I don't know like 50 pence Mountain Dew 330 which is another again 60 pence Red Bull which is nine which is about one pound and eighty I think so similar as the UK and then you have these nice crisps here which are all like four ringgits each so that's around 80 pence I think and then you have these really nice chocolates here this is 10 so that's two pounds and then you've got like have you ever seen Kit Kat like this before one pound oats Snickers Snickers that are made from oats I have oats inside and that is how much is that that's four ringgits 80 pence all right so I think we're gonna go for this lemon drink here three it's like 80 pence. Just this please, thank you. Alright, so a well-deserved drink after all that walking around in the heat. Turns out this is a drink from Japan. I think we've landed at some street food place here. And you can see here, there's amazing street food here. Look at this. 
Some all type types of fish. I think this is I'm not sure what type of fish that is. But that's fish. Fish, fish, fish. Yes, fish. Fish. This is, what is this? Curry fish. Ah. Ah, fish. How much is the portion? Uh, you take long and then you... Oh, you weigh it. Ah. Weigh it. Approximately how much? 8 ringgit. Lah. 8 ringgit. Mm. Ah, 8 ringgit for a box. Can I see mm. the size? Is it that box there? This one. Ah, okay. So, if you get this box here and you fill it with anything from here okay. and it costs around 8 ringgits. So, it's about 1 pound 30, 40. Sorry? You put in the tapar, please. Ah, you put this salad on top as well. And I think they've got some uh, stir fry going on here. As you can see. Oh, look at that food there. Amazing. Check this out. That smells so delicious. Noodles, huh? Noodles, noodles. Rice, noodles. Rice noodles. Ah, rice, rice noodles. Ah, okay. Check out the prices here. Eight ringgits and fifty for that. Six fifty, seven fifty. So about one pound thirty, one pound forty, one pound fifty. And the street food stall here. Not bad at all. Quite cheap. Check out this bookshop. So this bookshop it has around three million books inside. So you can go upstairs as well. It's like a maze around here. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. This one all travel guide. How much are these books? All before this count. Ah, you look like. All before this count. Ah. Yeah. Ah, like this one, oh, 25 only. This is 25 ringgits. Yeah, 25 ah. ringgit only. Ah. And outside, ah, Lonely Planet, very expensive. Very expensive. All right, so I've just come out from the oldest, one of the oldest bookshops in all of Malaysia, and definitely the oldest, largest second-hand bookstore in um, in all of Kuala Lumpur. And I bought this book Cape, about Cape Town because I'm planning to visit South Africa soon. And actually, this book was 23 ringgits to start off with, which is around 520, about four pounds something, but it's discounted to 50%, so it costed 12 ringgit, 12 ringgits altogether. So that is around two pounds. So in the UK, it's around six pounds. So it's not a bad price. Looks pretty old though. So here we have, we just went to 7 Eleven. We've got some tomato ketchup flavor crisps, some noodles. This is Korean spicy soup. And this one is kimchi, and they're both halal. And some slurpee, tutti frutti, and lemon flavor. And all this cost 17 ringgits, which is around the three pounds and 20 pence. So I'm at the monorail station right now and I'm about to get a monorail down to a specific station near the flea market and every monorail has one of these uh, what do you call it like ticket stations so we are taking this route here and we're going towards a station called Kasaraseni over there and so one ticket costs two ringgits and forty which is around forty pence and you go to Tuna or whatever it's Tunai and then you just put the notes in but they only accept the ones and the fives and the coins 480 so once you actually uh, pay for your tickets they'll give you these little tokens and you can use these tokens to go through these barriers over here and that will take you to your station so every trip will probably cost you if you buy singles uh, around maybe like 40 to 50 to 60 pence for every journey but you can buy a card as well, a KL card, which can make it a lot cheaper. All right, so let's go. So taking the monorail around Kuala Lumpur is one of the easiest ways of actually getting around. It's very cheap, it's very comfortable, and it's very reliable as well. And as it goes through the city, you'll get some awesome views of Kuala Lumpur. There's the fan, it's a good place to stand. 
So once you arrive back at the station where you want to leave, you can put your tokens in here and that'll open the gates over there. If you prefer not to take public transport because you just can't be asked, you can actually take a taxi. You can use the Grab taxi and I think another one called Easy Booking. So I'll put the logos up here, the logo of the app on the screen right now. Shorts on for sale for 10 ringgits. 15 ringgits for football t shirt. Ah, football t shirts cost 15 ringgits. And then you've got, as you're walking around, um, the further and further you go deep down inside. Uh, one thing great about this place actually is that it's all kind of like got a roof over the top, so it's all kind of like sheltered. So in Kuala Lumpur, it does rain a lot. So if it rains, you're protected. And if it's extremely, extremely hot, you're also protected. So works out nicely, I guess. Got some glasses here for the, for the frame is 50 ringgits. Thank you, just looking, thank you. So three pairs of socks for 10 ringgits. So that's like two pounds. Now I try to walk past them really quick because um, I don't want to take the mic and stop for a little while. Um, and not purchase anything. So a quick walk past telling the prices. So six ringgits for this t-shirt, so that's one pound twenty. Hope this is kind of giving you a good idea of uh, how much things cost and this is a very kind of like selective uh, moment I guess. I'm not giving you a, a, a whole idea of how much things cost in Malaysia. I mean Kuala Lumpur. Uh, so this is just one part. Uh, we've seen like for example the monorail here we've seen like some food here uh, we've seen how much taxi costs here how much breakfast costs here let's check out some of these trainers which trainer is the best trainer here okay i don't think they have any prices on them oh hello hiya how much are these this one yes 75 75 okay so this is a uh, 75 ringgit 75 ringgit 75 ringgit so that's around 15 pounds 15 pounds for these 75 ringgit wow check out this building skyscraper randomly you're walking around the streets of Kuala Lumpur and then you'll find this crazy Islam, this crazy skyscrapers out of nowhere just growing out the ground Malaysia titbits and dry fruits and there's a little food stall here and so what we're going to do now is we've seen some of the market i don't want to go too deep this is not really a market market video it's more like cost we are going to head to I'm not sure where we're going to head to let me decide I'm not sure let me think about this let me check my google maps we are now at the khan mongolian restaurant where we're going to grab some dinner i think they have a buffet for 50 ringgits which is around less than 10 pounds of seafood all sorts of foods Malay food here, Mongolian food as well. So we're gonna go inside here and try it out. Check out all this food here. I can tell that's chicken, I think. Some noodles over there, some more chicken. Ah, there's some hate stuff here as well. Some sweet stuff here as well. It's pretty much the same here with all plates here. I think here you have some rice and some more white rice and I think here they have some raw foods sushi type foods which you can take and cook on your table so this is the Mongolian soup that we have here and I think you get the food and you just put it on top over here ah, so she just put some of that oil on top of this just so that we can cook our stuff so let's go get a plate full of food so i've got some meat over here and what you do with this meat is you just grab it and you put it on top here and as you can hear it's sizzling away and as you can see we've got the mongolian soup here we've got some drinks lemon peach lemon iced tea and some orange juice and then we've got some uh, i don't know some stuff here and i think this yeah this is some salad tea dressing on the side Mongolian soup into these bowls. This is supposed to be a very spicy soup. Mongolian soup. It's got all sorts inside. I'm not even sure what these things are. Ham pieces here. Just put that on top. 
I'm not sure how I'm going to fit this on, but let's get it on top there somehow. So we're going for seconds and we've got some more beef, lamb, and again, I'm not sure what that is. Sizzling on this hot plate with the Mongolian sauce around it. Sorry, the Mongolian soup around it. Alright, so we just finished eating and we were told by a guy who works here, he's actually from Bangladesh and he was telling us that some of the people that come here, they stay sat on their tables for like five to six hours. Uh, there's a family here that's been sat here for like three hours because I think this idea of really slowing down the consumption is a thing here, you know, grill it, take your time because you already have to wait uh, whilst the food's being grilled anyways. So may as well just take it easy. So I've never eaten in this kind of style before. I've had food where it kind of comes a bit slower, where you have to wait for food and things like that. But this has been really different, very unique. I've absolutely loved it. I love the environment here, the choice of food here. Um, I love the fact that you can fry it here and for 50 Malaysian ringgit, it's totally worth it. Um, yeah, you have to pay, like I showed you the soup before, you have to pay a little bit extra for that, which is 10 ringgits. But all in all, you're paying about 11, 10, 11 pounds for a full Chinese, Malaysian, Mongolian, halal buffet. It's totally worth it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like what you saw. And uh, it's giving you some ideas and giving you some motivation, maybe boost to come to Malaysia and experience this for yourself. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe and also share with others as well to show them what the experience is like in Malaysia. And most importantly, don't forget to switch on that notification bell button so that when we upload another video, you guys can stay updated. I'll see you guys in another video. For now, Assalamu Alaikum from Kuala Lumpur. Hi, my name is Javet Ahmed and if you like my travel videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and TikTok to stay up to date with my journeys across the world.